Yo, this is a famous art piece called Ascending and Descending by the artist named MC Escher. Now, it's simply just a drawing of a bunch of people walking down the stairs on top of a building. But wait, hold on a second. If you pay closer attention, you'll realize that this stairs goes up, down, and loops back on itself. This is an illusion. But after discovering this, I immediately wondered, what would it look like to walk these stairs? And so I thought, okay, cool. I'll just do a quick Google search and see what people have made on this, right? And boy, was I disappointed. I actually did find a couple of 3D models of this illusion, but they're all cheating, and, and here's why. Their name is Tanner, and Tanner is placed here very intentionally, you see. Because in the illusion, Tanner here is just making a casual, normal step down the stairs. But if we convert this model into 3D like the way that they did it, Tanner is now taking a casual 40-foot step like it's nothing. Yo, Tanner, have you ever heard of physics? Have some respect. And so how are they cheating? Well, let me ask you. What good is an infinite staircase if you can't infinitely walk it? But uh, what if I told you that I figured out a way in which we can convert this 3D model into an illusion, just like you see here. Today, we're gonna see what it actually would look like to walk this infinite staircase in our real world. Also, real quick, Unity sponsored a separate video in which I teach you how to do everything in this video. I just wanna let you know to be on the lookout for that if you're interested, but more details on that at the end. Let's get started. But before we do, please come follow me on social media. Your boy is desperately trying to get his numbers up. So if you'd like the support, I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, merch. I just launched the shitty bugs tee, and I also still have the help the computer tee. You can head over to hacks.land and pick up some fire merch. Links are in the description. I thank you all for the support, but back to the content. Okay, so to get started, I booted up Blender and started to get my hands dirty. And if you haven't watched the other video on my channel called I Made an Infinite Staircase, you might have an idea where this is headed. It's probably gonna end up looking nothing like you expect. And so I grabbed a snack, glued myself to my chair, and then I just put my poor 3D modeling skills to work through the night. And let me just say, this was much harder than I thought, all right? Kitty, making a video, I can't right now. Getting Kitty permission to work aside, I wasn't really sure where to start. So I just started to trace the stairs in 3D, and then this happened. <sighs> well, it's definitely 3D. That is not a walkable building, not even the slightest. And after eventually getting sick of it and quitting, I just couldn't stop thinking, what would this actually look like if I were to finish it? And so I just stopped complaining and just powered through the tedious task of placing one polygon at a time. And many hours later, I finished making the 3D model the right way. And I can assure you, this 3D model is one fully connected piece. You want to see it? No, 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 wait, 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 before that. Let's add Tanner and make him run up these steps. I won't ruin the surprise so quickly. Tanner can go up the stairs. Tanner can go down the stairs. We can even spawn a bunch of Tanners to run the stairs in either direction. <laughs> Yo, this is tight. But now I think it's quite obvious how the illusion works on this model. Now, if you've been paying attention to Tanner running up the stairs, there is one incredibly sus part about the staircase. Did, did you catch it? Yep. This part takes much longer than it should to travel one step, and it looks pretty sus, if you ask me. And that's because this part holds the key to this entire illusion. And if we were to rotate the model, I think you'd get an idea on what's going on here. Are you ready? Check this out. That's right, Tanner's placement in the original illusion is the most important part because it removes all perceived distance between the two ledges, further breaking your brain, whether if you know it or not. The only way to make this geometry make sense is if there is a ramp to bridge the height difference. But what's most interesting to me about this is that we basically kind of ended up with the same 3D model in the end. The only difference here really is that there's a ramp here instead of two ledges. And so at last, the moment you've been waiting for, what would it look like to actually walk these stairs infinitely? Well, now we can strap a first person camera to Tanner and find out. Enjoy. Not a bad view. I think walking up the stairs is easier than walking down the stairs, thanks to being able to walk down the ramp instead of up it. But I think a staircase like this at the top of a building is 100% certified doable. So if there's any architects in the chat, hey, let's make that happen, all right? But anywho, I'm actually kind of surprised at how simple the model ended up being for this illusion. I wasn't sure if there's was gonna be some weird, unimaginable geometry in places you just couldn't expect, but nope, just throw a ramp in between the two ledges and it works out pretty well. Pretty tight, I guess. And that pretty much does it. If you want me to teach you how to do this type of stuff on your own, just check out the link in the description and 